Hello, good evening, our beloved viewers. It's 9 p.m. You're watching on Live RTD channel. Welcome to this English news edition. Here are the top stories. A workshop to learn the national gender policy for the period 2023-2030. Towards a long term research partnership on climate adaptation and sustainable development. And on the uh, regional scene in Sudan, the challenges of Sudanese refugees at the border with Egypt. Those were the top stories. Thanks for joining us in our newsroom. This morning, the People's Palace hosted a ceremony for the presentation of the national gender policy of 2023 and 2030 place under the high patronage of the uh, Prime Minister. This event uh, at the uh, People's Palace was attended uh, not only by members of government, but also uh, by women executive uh, and entrepreneurs uh, from a UN organization and women from civil society initiated by the Minister of uh, Women and Family, but also was supported uh, uh, by the United Nations Population Fund and the European Union. The national gender policy for the period of 2023-2030 uh, constitute a national orientation framework for gender promotion. This policy is intended as a framework for consultations and dialogue to ensure sustainable and equitable human development. The effective implementation of this national gender policy will also enable better protection of a woman's right in terms of their access to quality training, jobs without discrimination, health service for all, uh, but also in every world for all uh, peace, uh, security, and equitable social protection. It should be recalled that uh, uh, 10 years after the adoption of uh, the National Gender Policy of uh, 2011, and 2030. On this basis, it should be uh, considered as a re reference and orientation framework for the action of uh, the government and its uh, partners. Six uh, strategic orientation have been, uh, have been uh, gender in order to uh, support public action with regard to Djibouti Vision 2035 and the strategy orientation, but also the objective of uh, a Djibouti ICI National uh, Development Plan as well as uh, the CDH uh, for the uh, year 2030. In turn, the Minister of uh, Women and Family explained in her speech uh, about uh, the national gender policy uh, seeking uh, to respond uh, the requirement of uh, a rural uh, woman. The Minister, uh, the Minister of uh, Women in her speech uh, said that this policy, however, set itself a new objective in the minds of uh, a demographic uh, transition. Uh, the minister also highlighted uh, the aim uh, to make the most of uh, demographic uh, dividend. Uh, it will uh, uh, therefore focus on the social change that it can stimulate on support, uh, uh, said the minister, but also it will also address uh, the pressing needs of a rural woman in terms of a basic social service and a decent income. This new policy will be aimed at building women's capacity and resilience in the face of climate change. Ladies and gentlemen, said the minister, our concern to monitor the implementation of the strategy plan for this new policy have a, a plan uh, and uh, plan for us to seek our uh, most uh, appropriate formula for our national contest, uh, conclude the minister. 
For his part, the Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed uh, Spencer on the ceremony and praised in his speech uh, the effort of uh, the Ministry of uh, Women and Family. Details in this report. Today, I would like to warmly congratulate the Minister of Women and Family for her remarkable work in developing this new national gender policy for the year 2023 to 2027. I am convinced that this policy will strengthen the progress already made and contribute to achieving new ones in order to build a country grounded in the evolutions of our time. While ensuring that no one is left behind, ladies and gentlemen, the new gender policy built upon the national strategy for women's integration in development from uh, 2011 to 2021. In addition to embodying the values highlighted in that document, this policy will also benefit from the progress made and the national gender objectives outlined in the new Djibouti development plan. Furthermore, it will le leverage uh, Djibouti's uh, irreversible immersion in the digital world, as often emphasized by the head of state. The relationship between gender and digital technology will allow us to accelerate progress uh, at the relationship at all levels, from projects and programs. Uh, uh, the relationship between gender and digital technology will allow us to accelerate progress at all levels, from projects and programs designed to implementation monitoring evaluations. I would like to mention, for example, the recent integration of the digital platform dedicated to managing information on gender-based violence. This platform is already providing a swift solutions for handling violence cases and strengthening coordination efforts among all stakeholders. Regarding education, the significant number of Djiboutian women involved with necessitated providing them access to all professions without distinctions between male and female occupations. The Minister of Justice and Plenty Potentiary Affairs in charge of uh, human rights, Mr. Ali Hassan Badun, paid a visit yesterday morning to a leading figure in the national judicial landscape uh, who died on Tuesday, May 16, 2023, in France. Several judicial officials, including the Attorney General of uh, the Republic, Mr. Jama Suleiman, as well as uh, the uh, Senegalese magistrate who had came to uh, take part in the religious uh, ritual following the death of uh, the President of uh, Supreme Court of uh, Djibouti, also signed the Register of Condolence and Income of uh, uh, the uh, Djiboutian Judicial Landscape. Uh, the late uh, Abdurrahman uh, Sheikh Mohammed held the eminent important position of a uh, public prosecutor for many years before moving on the even more uh, prominent position of the prison of uh, Supreme Court. On the sidelines of the African Development Bank is an annual meeting. The Finance Minister of Djibouti, Ethiopia, Kenya, Somalia, and South Sudan, and the representative of uh, the Af Eritrea uh, today held 17 uh, uh, ministerial meeting of the Horn of Africa Initiative. Uh, the Horn of Africa on the uh, sidelines of the African Development Bank, uh, the annual uh, meeting of uh, the African Development Bank uh, uh, was uh, co-chaired by Mr. Ahmed uh, Shide, the Minister of Finance of uh, Ethiopia, and uh, uh, also the Vice President of the Regional Development Integrations and Service uh, Delivery. The objective of the meeting were to exchange views and opportunities uh, for a greater private sector's engagement and receive updates on various update of uh, on various issues and challenges relating uh, to the initiative. They were uh, pleased uh, to uh, note that work on a, a roadmap uh, to uh, submit and support uh, border areas uh, in progressing well to support uh, uh, these areas uh, is uh, uh, thanks to the part of funding provided uh, through the, the Multi Donors Trust Fund. The meeting closed uh, with the signing of a first trend of a Djibouti and uh, uh, Burma uh, Road uh, in the first stage, thanks to the financing of uh, 
Nairi uh, US dollar million by the African Development uh, Bank. On Thursday, corresponding to the 25th of May, a signing ceremony was held at the headquarters of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for the exchange of notes on the project to develop a vital medical equipment in hospital in Djibouti City this morning. The, si the signing ceremony of uh, the memorandum was assured by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation Mr. Mohammed Ali Yusuf and the Japanese ambassador to Djibouti, Mr. Otsuka Omio, on the presence of the Minister of National Education and Vocational Training and the Acting Minister of Health, uh, Mr. Mustafa Mohammed Mohammed, the Medical Equipment Development Project for Djibouti's capital and hospital. Uh, the especially uh, the hospital of Dar al Hanan and uh, Peltier hospitals uh, will be based uh, on a financial support of uh, uh, 760 million Djiboutian uh, franc. This project will enable the provision of a variety of uh, biomedical equipment uh, in addition uh, to uh, this analysis. Uh, the project aim to enhance the diagnostic and treatment of financing. The Chinese uh, ambassador to Djibouti, Mr. Otsuka, praised uh, the tireless effort made by the government of uh, Djibouti and uh, represented by the uh, Minister of Health to strengthen the health system in the country. In his speech uh, by the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Mohamed Ali Yusuf, indicated that the project aimed to enhance the capability and efficiency of a full hospital. Details uh, with our colleague, Mohamed Aden. This project, which aims to strengthen the capacity of four Djiboutian tertiary hospitals in non refundable grant worth 590 million yen, or about 750 million Djibouti francs, which is implemented within the framework of Japan's economic and social cooperation with the Republic of Djibouti. I would like to thank the government of Japan on behalf of the government of Djibouti for this assistance, which will undoubtedly facilitate the daily work of the staff of the Ministry of Health. And I take this opportunity to know the major and central role of the Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, which has also been organizing for several years many training courses for the staff of the Ministry of Health. Health, as you know, Health is a key element for the improvement of the population's life. That's why the Djiboutian government remains very committed to the efforts to improve and promote universal health coverage throughout the national territory. Finally, it is important to recall that Japan remains in recent years a privileged partner of the Republic of Djibouti through many projects that affect several areas such as education health. We have uh, the Minister of Education who is now acting Minister of Health uh, but no, with Japanese cooperation, has very important projects, including the Nasi Basic School, which will be integrated very soon. Health, therefore, is a central element in the Japanese Djiboutian cooperation. Securing Djibouti's territorial waters, uh, as you know, Japan also provides a patrol boat so that the Coast Guard can be well equipped and secure Djibouti's maritime zone. Japan is also very active in the file of civilian transportation. Recently, Japan has provided Djibouti with a second ferry boat, uh, which will be made operational after the construction of the docks in the two or three months. Uh, I would like to thank once again, Mr. Ambassador, on behalf of the government of the Republic of Djibouti, to thank through you, the government and the people of Japan, for this constant collaboration and this effective and useful partnership. Under the high patronage of the Minister of Defense in charge of relations with Parliament, Mr. Hassan Mohammed Omar, accompanied by the Chief of General Staff of the Army Forces, Lieutenant General Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim, today hosted an important uh, end up of uh, training uh, ceremony at uh, Arta Joint Military Academy on uh, his arrival. The Minister of Defense in charge of relations with Parliament, Hassan Mohammed Omar, was welcomed by Lieutenant General Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim before 
reviewing the troops uh, made up uh, exclusively of uh, the uh, hunters and training officials who had benefited uh, from these training courses for the future units uh, commander also were present uh, at this uh, ceremony, the deputy chief of uh, defense staff uh, and the chief of uh, the gendarmerie staff, but also the director general of the national police and senior members of Djibouti army. <laughs> The director of uh, the academy, IMI, uh, gave uh, a speech. Uh, Mr. The colonel, uh, Mohammed uh, Mumin, uh, gave a speech uh, in which uh, he outlined the specific nature of uh, these training courses. In his speech, Colonel Mohammed Mumin explained that uh, this training was uh, exceptional in its uh, solemn and uh, illustrating of uh, the end of uh, the training courses for the future units commander which had been held for the first time in the history of the Army and the Academy of uh, AMI, uh, the new less uh, for uh, this uh, future academic. On this occasion uh, of the very satisfactory results obtained by the trainee, General Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim expressed uh, his uh, satisfaction uh, through a short speech during uh, which he gave the important instructions uh, to all of the officials present at the ceremony. The chief of uh, the defense staff uh, then expressed his warm congratulations to the beneficiaries, noting that uh, uh, this graduation ceremony was uh, the uh, fruits of their hard working and uh, daily effort to fulfill uh, their duties. The president of the commission uh, of the commander Abdul Qadir Duali Al in charge of uh, proclaiming the result. Uh, also said a few words uh, before calling out uh, the name of uh, the winners. 
the Minister of uh, Defense in charge of relations with parliaments, so Mr. Hassan Mohammed Umar, and General Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim then presented the certificate uh, to the trainees so who have uh, distinguished themselves from uh, the other uh, during the examination phases. In a very convivial atmosphere, uh, the uh, group of Al Harbi folk uh, led uh, the rest of uh, the ceremony to the rhythm of a file and traditional military and uh, ceremonial uh, choreography. As usual, the ceremony will end uh, with the traditional family photo. The Minister of Higher Education and Resources uh, and uh, the Regional Observatory for Researches on the Environment and Climate uh, and the uh, CIRD, Djibouti Studies and Researches Center, the Embassy of uh, France in Djibouti organized a workshop uh, in the uh, Salam Bank Conference Room yesterday with the aim of a foreign a long-term research partnership on climate adaptation and sustainable development. The workshop was attended by the Minister of Higher Education and Research, Dr. Nabil Mohammed Ahmed, the French Ambassador to Djibouti, Ms. Uh, Dana, and the and also the CRD CEO of Mr. Uh, Jalaluddin Mohammed and director of uh, the uh, ORIC and numerous researchers uh, from Djibouti and the region attend for this uh, ceremony. The Minister of uh, Higher Education and Resources, uh, Dr. Nabil uh, Mohammed Ahmed, delivered a speech in which uh, he expressed his uh, delight uh, at the organization of uh, this event. Details with our colleague, Mohammed Adem. This workshop uh, means a lot of uh, us uh, in Djibouti, but also in the region and in, in relation that uh, uh, to what it is happening in the world. We are trying to bring solutions. Uh, it follows especially uh, the commitment of the health state in October. He launched the observatory and the launch of the climate summit network. The president of the republic through this action really uh, wanted that uh, to commit himself personally to launch a momentum at all at the level of the integrity of, of the region and give a scientific platform to all scientists in the region, but also beyond to be able to work together and find solutions so that scientists can give us elements of response to the climate problem. Today, the forecasts in the world are very worrying, very worrying, all the more. So as you know, you have heard about the El Nino in the next four years, the climate issue is going to be more and more worrying insofar as it is estimated that there will be temperature jumps both at the levels of the oceans but also at the level of the continent. The Minister of Muslims Affairs in Bafa uh, 
held a, a meeting to the department organize a workshop at the People's Palace to raise an awareness of uh, the profile of uh, the Egyptian pilgrimage and uh, uh, preparing to make uh, the pilgrimage uh, this year. The aim of uh, the workshop was to raise an awareness among Djibouti pilgrims and uh, the behavior that they should adapt uh, during the pilgrimage before arriving in the Holy Land. Uh, in attendance uh, were the director of uh, Hajj and uh, several other ministry officials as well as uh, uh, several hundreds pilgrims attend to this uh, workshop. On Thursday, May 25, uh, the Center for Leadership and Entrepreneurship hosted a workshop to discuss and meet uh, the beneficiaries of uh, the project. A fine presentation was made up uh, by the director himself on the results of uh, the PAFG uh, with the focus on the digital aspect of uh, the incubations, the major roles of uh, the private sector and also the gateway sector, how to develop and diversity uh, strengthen, but also the entrepreneurial uh, ecosystem and also to stimulate uh, the private sector, but also to promote innovation and digital technologies uh, in order to create uh, uh, the values for this uh, the CLE uh, is a mission, have a mission and as objective uh, to make an awareness workshop uh, and uh, which is uh, to prepare Djibouti's youth uh, for the job of uh, feature by teaching them for an early age uh, about entrepreneurship and how to adapt uh, for a solution instead of letting themselves uh, be hindered uh, by the obstacles. Finally, the workshop closed uh, with the uh, with the with an awarding an uh, honorary certificate uh, to uh, the presentation of uh, uh, partners and beneficiaries of uh, uh, the peers of uh, the attendant. The Director General for the National Center of uh, Metrological participated in the work of uh, the 19th session of uh, the World Metrological Congress, uh, with this uh, currently being held in Geneva, Switzerland, and also uh, with the, which will uh, continue until the 2nd of next June. The conference. Uh, which represent the supreme bodies of uh, the World Meteorological Organization witness uh, the participation of 193 members uh, states uh, of the organization to discuss a number of uh, important topics related to the work of uh, the organization during the coming period, including the strategy plan of uh, the organization and also the period for 2024 for the 2027 and the budget of organization and approval of a maximum for expenditure and for the period of 2024 and 2027 in order to develop target resources including the new implementation plans for the uh, World Weather uh, Researches Program, the world's atmosphere observing that this program of meteorological organization is strategy for the capacity building and development and others. In uh, the Dekhel region, the headquarters of Regional Council of uh, the City of uh, Unity hosted uh, the closing ceremony of uh, the National Unity Week uh, in cooperation with the governor of uh, the prefect of uh, the Dekhel region, Sir Adan Darar Musa, and uh, the organization of uh, this mobilizing event uh, for the first time aimed to promote the regional and national culture wealth in order to consolidate and strengthen the national unity, uh, which is uh, the identity of uh, Djiboutian uh, citizens. So this national event so will be an opportunity for the rest of uh, the interior region as well as uh, the three municipality of uh, Djibouti city to participate in this uh, national week. The 
unity celebration uh, which uh, will extend over one week uh, are divided into different teams, which are the uh, re-evaluations and the values of a tradition, but also in order to better manage social conflict and make uh, the youth contribute to maintaining peace, unity, and social cohesion, but also many other topics uh, were uh, related. This week aims to promote coexistence and uh, consolidate peace unity and social cohesion among the people of Djibouti. In Tujura now, yesterday morning on Wednesday, the Minister of Justice and Prison Service in charge of human rights organized a workshop on reforming the criminal laws process and criminal procedures code. This workshop is part of the Supporting Justice Project founded by the European Union and implemented by the United Nations Development Programme. The workshop aims to modernize the public service of justice and make it available to judicial authorities, limited taxes, and appropriate means of work. The proposed text seeks to integrate the relevant provision of international and regional legal and also instrument to uh, which uh, the Republic of Djibouti is a party in uh, to the criminal the criminal codes and uh, the procedures of uh, criminal Moving on to the international scenes, the Red Cross in Africa indicated that the flu of Sudanese refugees to Egypt continues uh, and the situation threatened a uh, catastrophe, pointing out that uh, we are uh, coordinating with the various humanitarian organizations to support Sudanese refugees, the Red Cross in Africa said in a statement to uh, the announcement uh, uh, net today, Thursday, that uh, uh, the outgoing fighting in Sudan is the biggest challenge. Uh, he added that the security situation in Khartoum is still tense and the supply routes are disrupted, uh, stressing that uh, we are working to, need, uh, to meet the need of uh, the Sudanese neighboring countries uh, to accommodate uh, the refugees. This is it for this edition. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful Friday night.